Last night I was looking through my uh, introduction video. I was doing some post-production filming. And it's fucking shit. Uh, I make uh, penis jokes. Self-deprecating penis jokes for no reason. It's way too soon for that. It wasn't a very good introduction. So meet me. Okay? I'm Eris. I am from uh, Eris City. Which is such a stupid thing to say. That is so stupid, but um... So let's just call it Chicago. I'm from the suburbs. Uh, I went to school uh, in Chicago and then uh... And this is a good story. I, got a, I ran in a little trouble. I don't. I really didn't bring the trouble with me, I just ran into it. So then a few months later, uh, this woman comes in my French class. She's like, yo, who wants to go to France, study abroad at some point? I was like, yeah, cool. I gave her my email address. She gave me hers, uh, but I, I didn't follow up. Whatever. At some point, at some point, I will tell you the story of why I'm here. The point is, is that I study neuroscience. Uh, my interest is in, specifically, is in cognitive neuroscience, beliefs, uh, rationality. I also do some improv. The last two times I did improv, I was not nearly this handsome. I haven't been this handsome since high school. Which I've never been this handsome. I, mean, I wasn't even close. Uh, Jesus Christ. I can't talk about myself without sounding like a prick. Those are not, those are not society's rules. You're not allowed to talk about yourself that way. Even if you, even if you know you might be wrong, right? I might be butt shit ugly. I'm just saying that when I look in the mirror, I'm just like really pleased. And maybe that doesn't mean I'm handsome, right? And maybe beauty is just as subjective as y'all say it is. Fuck it, I'm getting on a tangent, but the point is, you cannot say that you are handsome because it sounds like you think you're better than the other person. I don't think that, no, I'm just like stating facts. Anyway, so, uh, what else? Um, right. Now I'm living in Paris, I was supposed to leave in June, and then I was just like, fuck it. And I decided to sit. The, the, the biggest thing, the biggest thing that pushed me to do this channel was that I was having a whole bunch of problems at work, uh, where I would act a certain way and people tried to read me as though I'm a normal human being. Um, there's nothing wrong with being normal, alright? Just, just bear with me, we'll have a whole other video talking about the idea of normal and all that, okay? But the fact is, is that in my head are written different rules than are written in most of most humans heads okay so when I do these when I do things I do it for one reason whereas another human might do the same thing but for another reason right and if a human had my reason he wouldn't are you getting lost we'll have a whole video about that don't worry in other news not super believing, but that again, that'll be a whole nother video. I can't, I can't really give you snippets because I don't actually, I don't actually trust you. Uh, most people get agnostic and atheist all like messed up. Oh, uh, agnostic is when you're uh, not sure. Atheist is when you say there's no God. For some people, that may be it, but no. God, I sound like such an arrogant piece of shit. Help me out. I need to give you people context so you can understand me. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? What do I like to do during a long walk on the beach? It has to be with a beautiful woman, inside and outside. Okay, okay this is not going the right direction. It'd be cool if I could like tempt fate by running at a shark. I, I don't approve of fear um, and I don't care about leaving, feel me? Life is a party, sometimes it gets boring. Sometimes the only way to kind of spice it up is to just go outside, right? Or to threaten to go outside. And then if you're lucky, some beautiful girl's gonna be like, hey, wait, don't go outside. That's never happened to me though. I'm not worried about leaving the party, right? I know that once you actually walk out the door, you can't come back. Um, but some of my greatest adventures have been right by the door. Uh, ah, but what does scare me? The ocean in the middle of the night, that just mass. It's all black. Black's not bad. I love black people, they're hilarious. It's the unknown, right? The darkness, the obscurity. Fields in the middle of the night as well. Uh, like when you're driving through the country and there's just like cornfields. That would terrify me, the thought of like walking through them. But the biggest thing that scares me is divorce. 
it's about you literally building something together and they take half your house away and i'm not talking about finances like literally like fuck that's not possible you can't take half my house we can't split our house how does that even work for the basement the crawl space whatever take a bath and the neighbors can see you and that's actually like what it feels like well my ideas about romance we'll get into another time um so anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna read some letters. Okay, so this guy, we're both pretty much equally drunk. Uh, voila. And we're gonna fight, but I told him he has to start. No, All right, so uh, we didn't fight. He said it at the end, he, I, I don't wanna fight. But then, then at the end, he said, leave your friend and come with me, come home with me. And I started to realize, what happened? So I gave him a bizu, a big bizu on both cheeks. <laughs> Most intimate I've ever been with a man. That's not true, but, and. Uh, <laughs> 10 euros to fuck, man. 10 euros to fuck Francis right there, man.